Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. If you are new, welcome. My name is Hannah. We are revealing my primary bathroom makeover. So if this is something you are interested in watching, just keep on watching. Now, if you are new to my channel, I live in a tract home. This is a home that my husband and I purchased five years ago, and we have been slowly renovating and trying to make this house more of a home, changing out some of that builder grade type stuff to things that feel a little bit more custom and unique to our style. So the bathroom was somewhere that we wanted to do a little bit of a refresh without breaking the bank. Obviously, if I had $40,000 to do a full-blown renovation, I would love to do that, but it just wasn't in the cards for us. Plus, we're not quite sure if this is our forever home, so we are just doing little updates here and there to just make it feel a little bit more custom. I wish I would have documented more of this process, I'll be quite honest with you guys, but vlogging is something that I have eliminated from my channel, so I sometimes forget to vlog, especially with house projects like the one you guys are going to see in today's video. But I did my best to showcase some of the aspects throughout this process, and hopefully you guys enjoy and get some ideas for your own bathrooms. Without further ado, you guys, let's get into today's video. Before I start any home project here in my home, I always use Canva for helping me design this space. This is a free platform for anybody who wants to use it, but for someone like myself that is a visual person and needs to see what something is going to look like, this has been incredibly helpful. So I'm showing you guys kind of briefly what it is that I do when it comes to designing a space. That way I can visually see if the selections that I'm thinking will work with one another. So this is a free platform. Be sure to check it out. Again, it's called Canva. Canva, and then this is the last look that we decided to go with for our bathroom space. Now I knew that I wanted to do a natural stone for the backsplash, so after going to many different bath and tile spots, they just didn't have the look that I was going for. So I ended up going to Modern, which is a builder supply store here in San Marcos where they sell exterior stone, and this is exactly the look that I was going for. We did choose an exterior stone for the backsplash, which is the next one you guys will see in this footage, but if you are on the hunt or if you are in the local area, check out Modern for natural stone elements. All right, I wanted to start documenting this bathroom process before we get too far along. This is our primary bathroom and this is a builder grade bathroom. There is nothing special about it. It was just very generic. So we are giving it a little bit of a facelift. So what we have done thus far is there used to be a backsplash here, which I will insert some video of that and what it looked like before. We also had some medicine cabinets that my husband has patched up. We have not obviously painted yet. These builder grade mirrors are going to be removed as well as the faucet. Now I'm gonna, you guys can obviously see what I'm doing here. We're gonna be doing a different colored mirror. We are adding some sconces and then I um, have grabbed our faucet for that. I'm quite, I'm not quite sure if we're gonna keep the hardware, the black yet. I definitely, we're doing mixed tones. So we're doing a black mirror, brass sconce, brass faucet. And then I'm thinking about maybe doing something different with the handles, but not 100%. So we have picked up thus far. This is the faucet that we picked out. This is from Kohler. It's a really beautiful kind of brushed brass color. Love the style of this. We're gonna be tiling from the bottom of the countertops all the way to the ceiling. So it's gonna be have an accent wall here and then an accent wall on my husband's side as well. But I wanted something that was a little bit more natural and organic. So these were two samples. I brought this one home and then I also brought this one home and this is the one we decided to go with whereas this would be really heavy. So we're doing a natural stone against the obviously white marble flooring. I couldn't do too crazy. I wanted to keep it neutral, but again, just wanting to document you guys what this bathroom looks like before and what it's going to look like after. I wanted to walk you guys through some of the selections that we decided to go with for this primary refresh. So starting with the faucet, this is from Kohler and this was one of the first items that I'd picked up. Now matching brasses, especially when you go with different companies can be rather challenging. So I ended up bringing this faucet into rejuvenation and was able to find a perfect match from their sconces in store. So the sconces are from rejuvenation, the faucet is from Kohler, and then the mirror in that beautiful black iron is from 
from Crate and Barrel. Now the rug that you guys will see, this is from Wayfair, this is from Sura, I believe, and then some of the decor elements are from a variety of different places. Now since this bathroom reads cool between the white cabinetry, the gray countertops, the white faux marble flooring, I was trying my best to bring in warmth and hence that's why I brought in the brass elements through some of the fixtures. And then I played with some of the decorative pieces, bringing in this beautiful primitive wood bench, not only for that organic feeling, but kind of soften all of the harsh just coldness of this bathroom and then obviously bringing in that stone is another colder kind of bold element so bringing in brass and more of that wood warmer tones to just kind of break up everything see i had to work with what i had here we obviously didn't have the budget to do a full-blown renovation but i think all the elements came out really beautifully considering and one thing i did want to state we still have a couple other things we need to adjust within this bathroom including the shower head and the bathtub um, faucet they need to be changed to brass but I did want to get this out to you guys as soon as possible because I was super excited to share with you guys When it comes to a primary bathroom, I think this is a really great space to bring in that personalization. These are two beautiful photos that my mom took of both Ryder and Sway when they were newborns. And I think that the bathroom is such a private area to begin with that this is a great way to have that on showcase. And so I think with this bathroom already having a lot going on between the stonework, I didn't wanna to bring too much artwork that was gonna compete with it. So these portraits of my girls, I think just make the perfect addition here in this bathroom corner. And it it also plays nicely with the other black elements throughout the space. All right, guys, and that is it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed this primary bathroom remodel. You guys will have to let me know down in the comments what you guys think, if you guys enjoyed the selections that I decided to go with for my bathroom space. But until the next video, I love you guys so much. Thank you for being here, and we'll see you guys then. Peace. Thank you.